Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Learning XML. In this video, I'm going to uh, share to you how to convert an XML file to MS Access Table and converting an MS Access Table to an XML file. And so in this video, uh, I'm going to teach you how to uh, convert an XML file to an MS Access table and vice versa. So let's go ahead and do that. So in this case, we have, as our example, we have this XML file here where it has uh, three records with four elements for each record. So this XML file, what we're going to do is to convert this first into an MS Access table. And so therefore, we need an MS Access software in order for us to do that. Because the MS Access software will allow a user to create a database. And inside that database, uh, we can create a table with records in it. All right. So what will happen is that when we convert this XML here to an MS Access table, the table will have four fields, and that is these four elements here. That is what is going to happen here. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. So what we need to do here is we need the MS Access software. So let's go ahead and convert our XML file to an MS Access table. So we're going to open first the MS Access. So here it is. So I'm going to use an MS Access 2016 version. Uh, we can also do this on advanced version, uh, the later uh, version of this MS Access 2016. No? So uh, the newer version is also possible in here. So the first step is to create first the database. So Let's go ahead and click this one here, blank uh, desktop database. So this is the one we're going to use. And in here, uh, you will be asked to enter the name of the database. So let's go ahead and type it. For example, the name of the database will be example DB or database, example database or DB. And then you just have to take note here that when you click this create here, it means it will create the database here in this folder. If you want to change this, you just have to click this uh, folder icon here. So let's go ahead and change it because I don't want to save it here. But if you want to save it here, then go ahead and click the create button here. But if you don't like to save it here, so let's save it somewhere else. So I'm going to click that icon here. Again, this icon here. And I'm going to save it to the uh, folder where I want it to be. So let's say here. For example, here in this folder. So I'm just going to click OK. And you will notice here that uh, the folder, the old folder written here before has changed. So it will be something like this now. So it will be saved here. And the name of the database will be this one here, example DB. And we're done with that. We're good in here. So let's create. And this is now the MS Access ready for creation of table. But we will not create a table. What we will do, like I said, is we will convert the XML file, this one here, to an MS Access table. So. What we're going to do here to do that is to right click on the table here. There is a table one here. There's nothing in here actually. All right. So because you're just going to create a new table here. So but we're not going to do that. So instead, we will right click on here and we're going to select the import. 
So we will import the XML file. So we have to select the XML file. And from here, the first step is uh, to identify where is the source, where is the XML file. So obviously it's not here. So we will be, uh, if it is not here, then uh, you just have to find it by clicking the browse button over here. And you just have to find here. You know? So locate it. So I'm going to find it. I save it somewhere here. Here, this is the name of the, or this is the file name of the XML file. So I'm going to click OK or Open. And that's it. Okay, so let's finish this step now. So I'm going to click OK now. The next is, this will appear indicating the uh, fields that, we're, uh, that we are about to convert. So as you can see here, they are just the same here. So CRS ID, stood name, CRS name, total marks. So this is the XML. So this is actually it. Now at the bottom, you will be uh, having to choose or you have to choose structure only, which means the records will not be there. Structure and data, which means the uh, structure or the field names we, uh, will be there and the data or the records. So let us choose the second one here and we're going to click OK. That means it will create the table at the same time the records will be there. So I'm going to click OK here. And I think this is the last step so we just have to click close. And if you notice now on the left side, on the left pane, you have another it created another table and this time it created the table record so it will just create its own table name so in this case it's record and it is based actually on I think this one here all right so record here so that doesn't matter actually what is important is that when we double click this when we open this table here when we double click it all right double click it and so these are the records now. So what that is uh, the important one here. So it was able to create a uh, to convert now, all right? This is our XML file here. It was able to create a uh, convert now our XML file to an MS Access table here, all right? So another way to open this, by the way, this table here is to right click on it, open or simply double click it. So basically that's how we convert an XML file to an MS Access table. Now let's do the other way around or the reverse by converting an MS Access table to an XML file. So for example, we will be converting this or we will convert this to an XML file. So we have this table here, we have the records here, and we will convert this, this data here to an XML file. So what we need to do is to what we need to do is to right click on here, and this time we have to say or we have to select export and this time XML file. So I'm going to click this one here and select the destination for the data you want to export. So this time we're talking about destination. So where are you going to save it? So if you are good here in this folder, in this destination here, so you have to click OK. But if not, you want to save it in a different location. So you just have to browse here and find the correct uh, destination for your XML file. So let us assume that it will save here. So, I mean, uh, we will be using this uh, path here, uh, this folder here as our destination folder. So, we just have to click OK. Going to click OK now. The, uh, by the way, the, the name of the uh, file, the XML file will be 
record.xml. You can change this name if you want to by changing the name here. But in this case, I will not be uh, changing it. I will just take it record.xml. So I'm going to click OK now. And here you will be prompted to select uh, how do you want to export it. So do you want only the data, uh, schema of the data, or presentation of your data using XSL? So we just wanted to convert it into a simple XML file. So I don't need this schema here, just simply data. So we have to check only the data. And we just click OK button here. And I think this is the last step. All you need to do is to click the close button. And basically that's it. So if you will check now the folder where, where you saved it, it should be there. So it is here. So remember we have saved it as record.xml. So it is here now. Also, we also save it here in this folder, the conversion of the XML file, all right, to the example DB here. All right, so everything that we did, the conversion of uh, XML file to MS access table and conversion of MS access table to XML file we save or we yeah we save th those files here in this folder so as you can see we use this example DB here so we save it here and then we converted the file the XM, uh, MS access table to XML file and that XML file is the record that XML so it is also here so let's try to open this one and here it is this is now the XML file that was converted from from MS access table to this file XML file so you will take note of this line number two here so it created this one here so data root so this means that you used MS Access database or software to generate this XML file. So that's how simple it is to convert your XML file to MS Access table and from MS Access table to XML file. I hope you have learned uh, in this video. It's very simple. Uh, it has a very simple steps converting XML to MS Access Table and vice versa. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up. Subscribe if not yet subscribe. Thank you very much for watching this video. And see you on the next video.